We are going to find the value of s square root of 30 plus s square root of 5 over s square root of 30 minus s square root of 5. But where should we start the solution? To solve this question, I'm going to start with this number. This number can be written as a product of two numbers. So here we go. Welcome to Maths with Teacher MJ. In this video, I'm going to solve this fun little math problem. But before I start the solution, please feel free, pause the video, solve it yourself, then compare your answers with my solution. Remember, if you're different way to solve this question, please let me know. It always makes me happy to see how creative you guys can be. Now I'm going to start the solution after three seconds. One, two, go ahead and get started. Right, as you know, S square root of 30 can be written as a product of six and five. S square root of six and five. So let me rewrite it. S square root of six times five plus S square root of five over s square root of 6 times 5 minus s square root of 5. But what is the next step? To continue the solution, I'm going to get help from a math rule that says s square root of a times b is same as s square root of a times s square root of b. So s square root of 6 times 5 is going to be s square root of 6 times s square root of 5 plus s square root of 5 over s square root of 6 times s square root of 5 minus s square root of 5. As the next step, what is the common factor between this term and this term? The common factor between this term and this term is s square root of 5. So let's factor s square root of 5 out of this expression. It's going to be s square root of 5 times s square root of 6 times s square root of 5 divided by s square root of 5 is s square root of 6. And s square root of 5 divided by s square root of 5 is 1. So plus 1. And denominator you know, s square root of 6 times s square root of 5 divided by s square root of 5 is going to be s square root of 6 minus 1. As a next step, this is square root of 5 and this is square root of 5 can be cancelled off. Now, what should we do as a next step? We have s square root of 6 plus 1 on top and s square root of 6 minus 1 as denominator. To continue the solution, I'm going to multiply both top and bottom by conjugate of denominator. The conjugate of s square root of 6 minus 1 is s square root of 6 plus 1. So let me do it times s square root of 6 plus 1 times s square root of 6 plus 1. Now, on top we have s square root of 6 plus 1 times s square root of 6 plus 1. So it can be written as s square root of 6 plus 1 s square. On bottom we have s square root of 6 minus 1 times s square root of 6 plus 1. Now, what is the value of s square root of 6 plus 1 s square? To solve this, I'm going to get help from an algebraic identity that says a plus b s square. s square of the sum of two terms is going to be first term s square plus twice of the product of the first term and second term plus second term s square. So, s square root of 6 plus 1 s square is going to be first term s square. Plus twice of the product of the first term and second term. Plus second term square over. But what is this? S square root of 6 minus 1 times S square root of 6 plus 1. To solve this, I'm going to get help from next algebraic identity that says S square root that says A minus B times a plus b can be written as a squared minus b squared. Right, I'm going to get a from this algebraic identity to continue the solution. So, s square root of 6 minus 1 times s square root of 6 plus 1 can be written as s square root of 6 s squared minus 1 s squared. Let's continue the solution. s square root of 6 s squared is going to be 6. 2 times s square root of 6 times 1 is going to be 2 s square root of 6 
plus 1. Over. S square root of 6, S squared is going to be 6. 1 S squared is 1. Now, what do we have? On top, we have 6 plus 2 S square root of 6 plus 1. 1 plus 6 is going to be 7. Plus 2 S square root of 6. Over. 6 minus 1 is 5. And this is the most simplified answer of our question. Remember, if you use different way to solve this question, please let me know. Have fun.